In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello everyone and welcome back. Day number 12 here in season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked. Got a bit of a mixed bag prepared today. Definitely did a bit more prep than yesterday. But uh, got a few different things on the menu to get to. I'm hoping to get Tybo when I trio done. And I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do after that. I may make a start on smithing or fishing respectively through some quests. Uh, one or the other, depending on the time I have and what I feel like doing. Before that though, I'm going to crack out a birdhouse run and play one more game of LMS because I just need one more point to be able to get a dragon pickaxe ornament kit which is the best rate for GP per point from LMS plus they are much more frequently traded than the next best option, like eight times more frequently traded so much better chance of it selling and getting our money from it so yeah that's the plan birdhouse run game of lms hop to a world that's not horrible australian ping because for some reason nobody plays on the british lms world and then do a few quests or one quest or however many we can get for oh we actually need two more points we only have 12 i thought we had 14 okay super laggy Dick sight. Oh, I went to the wrong place. Fuck. That was the last charge. My word. It is very, like, both my connection and just, like, my CPU seem to be laggy as fuck right now. So, no, uh, no guarantees my PVM and our PVP and is gonna be up to scratch. We need two points. So that's like a kill and a bit of a survival, or two kills, I guess. Uh, if we can get two quick kills on bots, that'll be the best scenario. Just have to see, of course. Nice, got five nests and two levels out of that run. Very decent. Couple seeds as well. See if there's anything good. Never look here. Oh, we got a mahogany. That's only 500 GP though. I don't know why I have a uh, raw bird meat. Get rid of that. Alright, let's get in the LMS game, get it done and get off this horrible Australian world. Okay, got a level 50 looking straight at me. Oh, is this an actual player? I thought it was a bot. Can I have a hit please? The fuck? Okay, we got a Fury. Is that it? I don't want a G-Mall. Not great at making use of those particularly. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got one kill. Hopefully we get two points out of that somehow. No, we just got one. Okay, we'll do another quick one. We should be able to just kill a bot and then die to whoever. <gasps> Didn't take long at least. I'm gonna take my sweater off. Die please. What the fuck? Give me a hit. Why does this keep happening? I just keep hitting zeros. Such bullshit. Okay, we got a Sears and then the Aram's top. Here's someone. Well, we only wanted the one kill anyway. 14 points, just what we we're looking for. Trade Justine, let's get ourselves a Dragon Pickaxe upgrade kit. And we are going to get straight off this world. Look at that collection slot. Okay, give me a British world with low ping. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Straight to the G, I guess. Put this up along with our bird nests. And I'm gonna get type one eye trio up on the side. Wealth out. Let's go. Still need the yoga buttons and the banana. Oh no, we got them. Both of them. And I'll take these and crush them. I should have done it anyway. I was just being lazy yesterday. 
Right, hopefully they'll sell. If they're not doing by the end, then I might lower them slightly, but we'll see. I think that's everything we need. We might need a bit of money, but we've got a bit of money. We'll get our Alk stacks, whatever they are. I need to get this shot on the G as well that I randomly picked up. We'll just slap everything that we've got going spare on. We got any others? Is that it? Have we got iron chains? Have we got any steel stuff? No. No. Shield? No. Okay, that's it. That's it for our Alks. Guess it'll be fine for now. We'll move those up there and we need to get ourselves to type for one eye. So let's get our Ardy Cape as well. Although we can just run to the uh, fairy ring over here. That's not a German staff, that's an iron spear. Do we need Karen Blanche? Because I didn't get any. Shall I just get some? I might have had some in the bank anyway, I can't remember. I feel like this is a wise idea, but maybe it's not. Maybe you can't get them until you start the quest. I'm just wasting ticks. Uh, if the next rupture, are... no, we got some. We got some. Okay, that that'll probably be enough anyway. I think you just have to like show it to a guy, but I might not even be. I might be wrong on that. Even we'll see. If it pays off, then uh, I'm gonna go. Come on, man, a Brudu victim. It's just bad manners. Cool. Oh no, only 23 Karam Blanji. Well, good job you went and caught those four. Such a weird amount to need. Wait, is that just so you make sure that you don't fuck up making it? Because I'm pretty sure I won't. I've got spares. Like, I don't need to fish for more Karam ones. I can get them out of the bank. Okay, now we have to run all the way to the north. Okay, so we did want 20. That's fun. Uh, drop it. Did I already get it? Okay, we got the vessel. I don't know how I just got a fishing level from talking to him. Cool, get another one. Oh, fill it. And then go buy some Karamjin rum. Okay, get the rum. We use the sliced banana on it. DKP. Okay, use a vessel on him. Drop the vessel. What? Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna drop and pick this up a few times because it's a diary task, isn't it? There we go. May as well. Right, use a tinderbox on yoga bones. Can't light fight here. With the bones to burn. Okay, burnt bones. Use a pestle and mortar on a chrome bonji. Use the paste. Uh, right click, use the bones on a fire. Okay, I mean, I already know how that I can make poison crumb ones, but... Oh, I could have just gotten one from the bank. Okay, what's the quickest way to teleport there? Just run. Alright, gotta watch this guy get smoked. Okay, so we use the agility potion. No, use on him. And then the crumb one paste. Cool. Oh, I need a... Oh my gosh, I don't have any... I don't have runes. I need... Runes. Or a ranged weapon. Fuck! Okay. How are we getting back there? I guess we go CK. CK off every ring. How to fuck this monkey up, I'm telling you. Suck my dick. From the back. Thank you. Use the seaweed on it. Easy peasy. Here we go. Is he the greatest or is he the greatest? Okay. I think we just run over here because the fairy ring's right here. So many weird musical effects in this. Alright. About to finish up with Tybal One I Trio. That's the same one from earlier, isn't it? What a troll. There we go. Let's go get our experience from the boys. 5k fishing XP. While we're here, get some Karam ones. Cheaper than the GE. 5k cooking XP. And there's 2.5k each in strength and attack. Very nice indeed. Just gonna get a quick reset. I think I might actually do another RFD subquest. We should be able to cook Karam ones properly now as well for the the proper amount of XP, you know, that's nice. 
I'm just going to put it in at 415k. Oh, no, 400. See if we can get into the cell. Boom. Okay. Wow. Well, I can barely get any. Uh, I need something that's cheaper. Much cheaper. Okay, that is more like it. Let's go with 800. Perfect. And we want some more nature runes. Okay. And then we want a couple more magic potions. So we're not quite there yet. And they are relatively cheap there. Very cheap there. Alright. So, now, with our magic potions, we should be able to high alk certain stuff. We can high alk these by boosting. We can low alk these. Good to go. Let's buy the rest of the stuff for Pirate Pete. Okay, I think we're good. Got everything just about. Let's teleport to Port Khazard. It's actually going to be kind of hard to uh, do these high alks with the boost, but I'll do my best with it. Might not have a lot of opportunity while we're underwater. I'm not sure if you can cast down there. Oh, you want your weight low as well, don't you? I think it's okay. Though. Oh, this cutscene is long as shit, isn't it? Or maybe it's the one on the way out that I'm thinking of. That wasn't too bad, but we can't cast underwater. Do we have enough inventory space? I don't have enough space. I've got to. I've got to leave. I've got to leave and empty my inventory. Some shit. Oh, this cutscene for fucking. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we actually need that kelp right now, though. And we don't need this either. So I can put that shit away. Did it take that out of my hands when I went down? Okay, we have we have room. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me I can fire strike underwater. Okay, we're good. I already got five. Stop swimming away from me, Nung. All right, crab killing time. Oh my God, this is our first crab Casey on the account. Does this even count? Like, oh no, I didn't mean to go out. Can I teleport out? I'd rather teleport out if it's possible. Just gonna get one more in case. Oh no, we've already got three, we're good. I'm gonna try. Yeah, it worked. Pestle more on the crab. Okay, just get this shit out. I'll just make it all. Oh, I don't know how to make it yet. Whatever. Okay, three fish cakes. Three successful fish cakes. Pirate Pete is now rescued. It's two down. Some fishing and some smithing levels. And we now have, I'm gonna have to do this every single time. The iron gloves. The iron gloves. Oh, look at how good they look. It's so much better than that horrible pale skinned bitch right there. Yes. Why is my escape key not working? Why is my my escape key not working? Escape. My, none of my F keys are working? Okay, I'm pausing the timer for a sec. Something wrong with my F keys. Was it just my escape key? A few moments later. Okay, I'm going to log out closer in light restart it because i think my escape key is working in other programs i don't know what the fuck's going on but for some reason it just stopped working in room light and that's what i use for uh my inventory so it's kind of necessary for me hopefully starting back up it it just works okay we're good i literally have no idea what was going on there but that took like 10 minutes to sort out so i'm glad i did pause the timer i may have missed a few seconds uh, but whatever it is, we'll go with it. We are on from here. Right, what am I actually fucking doing now? Fishing contest. Are they untradeable? Yes. Combat bracelet. Put the fishy shit away. And we need a couple more bits and pieces. So, gee, quickly. Might be able to get this quest done in time. It is a very quick one. Okay. Yeah, red vine. We can't buy. Fishing rod. Do we already have garlic in the bank? I guess. Don't know why. Might be from when we did Vampire Slayer, maybe. Not four spades, just one spade. Okay, Are we. I should just go straight to the thingy, right? Uh, the red vine worm. Gruber's wood. There we go. Can't remember if we need multiple, but it's not gonna harm. Okay, Camelot teleport. Finish these real quick. Okay, the magic potion gives us a plus four, so we do actually have slightly longer. Oh, look at that, 65 XP a cast. I forget how slow it is in comparison, though. Okay, so now we go to the ranging guild. 
Enter. Okay. Oh, I need to do the uh, garlic. Catch the fish. What's the giant one? Wait. Okay. Very nice and easy. Still just barely got enough boost to cast by the time we get back to Vestry. This is a sub two minute quest right there. And there it goes. Nice one. How about this one next? It's also very, very quick. We don't really need anything other than some swamp pace, which we can get at Cathavy and then teleport down there. Should have brought a stamina though. I think I was quite low on stamina, that being said. Might have to pick up some more. Yeah, I've only got one left. Okay, just go into a charter to get some swamp paste. And we go to... Can we not already teleport yet? Shit, or do we not have the runes on us? Is that it? It's probably that we don't have the runes on us. I think you need water runes. Yeah, perfect. Hardy. Uh, right, we're going over here. We're going to drink a magic potion and get Alkin again. I think we can finish another one today. I feel like we smashed a load of quests out today. They are just tiny ones, of course, but it's going to be some good gains. I'm looking forward to, to looking at the stats at the end of this. Seeing where we actually got up to. Bro, oh, you're wasting my boost here with all these cutscenes and shit. Man, this is like over twice the XP as well of uh, low Oak, as well as better profit. We're actually making 200 coins a cast, which is not bad at all, considering it's training our magic at the same time for free as we're doing the things that we're already doing. Magic's just a free skill on the paid account. But paid, I mean like not Iron Man. To be fair, it's pretty free for most. But you can just zero time it as you're doing anything with Alks. Oh, I had one on my dinner. Cheers, Kent. Okay, talk to my man. Gonna have to wait for that boost to tick under before I go again. Broken glass, damp sticks. Did I just fail climbing up a ladder? The fuck? No, Captain Rav. Just no. Look at that, we actually smashed another one out. And it's just about time for our birdhouse run. We don't have a ring of dueling on us though. That is unfortunate. Okay. Get rid of some of the shit that we don't need. And get a hammer and a chisel. And some willow logs. We are still on willow, are we? 31. Yeah, teak's 34. Dig site pendant, teleport. Been a pretty good day. Very happy with our progress today. I'm gonna just smack out this last magic bit of XP as well. We're so close to a level. I will be taking that grimy cadentine 100%. Thank you very much. And there is 53 magic. Which means these boosts will last longer now as well. Very nice. Got some seed nests. Nothing special though. Well, let's go over to the bank. That is the day. That is the day. Let's have a look at this XP. Oh, that is so concise. It's mainly fishing, to be honest. Oh no, that's because I restarted halfway through. Oh shit, okay, so this is not going to be accurate, because uh, I had to close it, didn't I? Because of the escape bug stuff. So, okay. So this is not accurate, let's ignore that. I'll have to just compare with uh, my spreadsheet. So cooking, we're up three levels from 30 to 33. Fishing, we are up, jeez. Uh, we went from 16 to 33, which is 17 levels, I believe. That is quite a margin. Smithing, we got a level. Crafting, we almost got a level, but not quite. Neither for mining or herbal. Uh, Strength, we got a level. Magic, we got a level. And Hunter, we got three levels. That is actually it. So, mainly fishing and a tiny, tiny bit of smithing again today, which is good. It's good. We're starting to get our skills to look a bit more reasonable now. The only thing that's below 20 is ring crafting and that fletching, and we don't care about either one of these for any of the requirements. So, like, everything else is, is getting there now, and... You know, we've still got some more levels to push. Apparently, 179 levels to go total to reach our target. But, yeah. We made some solid progress today. We got a whole bunch of quests on Tybo 1 I Trio, Fishing Contest, Sea Slug, RFD Free and Pirate Pete, all great progress made, four quests, five quest points gained. We also got a little bit of money from that LMS at the start of the day. 
So we only have 132k, but the main thing is it's all in these javelin heads. So as we alk those, we will get up to about 500k, which is very nice, very nice indeed. And we've been high alking them with boost to get there even quicker. So it's nice that we've been able to, to improve our experience rate with the high alking over the low alking. Good day's progress. Good day's progress. Solid day. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, of course, it helps out a ton. And leave a comment down below. Tell me you're still with me, because it seems really quiet at the minute, and I'm lonely. I need you in my life, but in a less creepy way than what, how I said it. And check out some of the other Valamore content I've been posting recently. There's a shit ton of it. Subscribe to the channel so you see it all. That will be all from me on this one, though. Until the next time, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.